Oh, hey Obscure Mike people, what's up? Bark here with something I like to call story time. So, uh, you guys know I like to scour the interwebs looking for obscure microphones, obscure things, obscure gear. So the other day I was on, the other day as in weeks ago, I was on uh, eBay and I found something that the microphone assassin Mark Yoshimoto Nimkoff had found the Oma condenser microphone. A $699 microphone on eBay for 50 bucks auction. I won this auction. This microphone though did not have the screens that come with it normally. So I go to Oma's website, order a set of screens, $49. After ordering these screens, I get an email from Sammy Rothman, who is the owner of Oma Microphones. And he's like, I've not seen your name come across my email with a Oma condenser order. May I ask, why are you just ordering the screens? Do you have the microphone yet? I told him the truth. Yes, I have the microphone. I got it for 50 bucks on eBay. Yes, I know that's a steal. Robbery, basically. But I was pretty excited about it and pretty excited to get the screens on and try it out. Sammy proposes to me, how about I send you a brand new OMA condenser and an extra set of screens? Sweet. So he does. All he asked in return is, was that I send the $50 mic I got back so he could do an RF mod to keep electronic frequencies out of the microphone. Moral of this story is, great companies. I like to shout them out when I come across them. And Sammy over at OMA just literally made my experience about as good as it could be made. I've got a brand new microphone, two brand new sets of screens, because one set comes on the microphone. And overall, I'm just extremely pleased with not only the transaction, but also the customer service from the owner himself. And he had watched my channel before. He knew who I was when he saw that order come across his email. Just absolutely fantastic. These are the kind of stories I love. This is part of what makes what I do just simply amazing is that human interaction. It's just great. So I just wanted to give Sammy a shout out and Oma, Omaha microphones a shout out for bringing the best customer service experience that is possible in going above and beyond. Not to mention this mic rocks. Let's start the video. All right. Now that you've heard the story, let's check out the Uma. I mean, this is, this is a really cool thing we got here. So we got the Uma, 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 Uma. Let's call it Uma because I'm a big Pulp Fiction guy. Uma Thurman, Kill Bill, all that good stuff. We got some screens. We got a mic. Let's unbox them. Well, you say we do the microphone first. Uma. Ooh, 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 Uma. Hey, we got us a card in here. Oh. Oh, check that out. So we got an Uma World sticker. I freaking love stickers. We got another kind of, that's a sticker too. Yeah, stickers. Love stickers. Love them. That's some really nice packaging. So inside the aluminum Uma, we got, oh man, that is, oh, that's, you gotta be careful taking these out. I'm lucky I didn't just poke a hole right through that. Man, that's, that's some quality stuff right there. Yeah. I'm digging it. I th see this is this is cool to me. You got some little things to release the krakens there, and put your screens on and stuff. We'll get to those. We'll get to those. But I definitely, uh, I'm liking the presentation quite a bit from Sammy here. This is this is good stuff. Now I know what the the Oma looks like. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That my friends, is kind of a thing of beauty. The picks again, 
We got a couple finger slots here. Mm. See, I had one without the grill pieces. And with the grill pieces on, that is a really cool freaking looking microphone. No bells or whistles besides screens, XLR. We've got a mount here. Um, that's a pretty basic mount, but effective. I, I like basic and effective, and that's uh, that's what that's going to be. Yep, open-ended plastic mount. That is nice, man. The presentation, the style, the looks, it's just all kind of, it's all great. Those magnets are pretty strong. And here's our capsule in there. That's a thing of beauty, folks. Like, I mean, yeah, we may be talking five ninety nine, maybe four ninety nine on sale sometimes, but this is a this is this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous, and this is one of those pieces that if you're using in your your makeshift studio or whatever, and people are just kind of looking at it like, what is this? Where did he get this microphone? Just absolutely brilliant design, beautiful. Sammy, thanks for this. I, I really appreciate it. As if you couldn't tell in the opening there. I really, really appreciate this. Let's get this beautiful thing wired up. Again, you're listening to the NT1 from Rode as usual. And you know, this is the standard setter as far as like condenser microphone. What is your first condenser microphone going to be? Is it fair to throw it up against $600 here? Maybe not. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. The Rode NT1 is out of here, and the UMA is here. The UMA is here. And I gotta say, from the minute I heard this thing in comparison to the Rode NT1, I was just kind of taken aback because you're gonna get this nice, spatial, full, thick, rich sound. And it sounds quite nice. Uh, to me, this is so much more condensery sounding than the NT1. That thing can sometimes sound like a dynamic. Seriously. Sometimes. But this thing is all condenser, baby. It is all condenser. It's sounding really, really good right now. I'm kind of excited to put uh, some different plates on because listening to the microphone assassin on his channel switching these plates they do make a difference they absolutely make a difference and i just find that to be really cool like this is part of why you would pay 600 bucks for a microphone is to be able to fine tune and tweak with just plates before we go doing that though let's go ahead and do some tests i know the plosives are real bad they're real bad so prepare your ears Explosive time is not going to be fun for anybody. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. The mic has a ribbon look to it. It's got some ribbony plosives too. You don't want to throw plosives into a ribbon mic. I've done it before. Uh, mostly because I read up in the Super Lux ribbon mic I did. It, it was basically a thicker ribbon. And I, I just... I gave it a shot. wasn't an expensive mic. This thing, you don't want to throw plosives into it. You're going to want to use a pop filter for sure. But when you get right on top of the UMA microphone, this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of it, using that proximity effect, trying to get some buttery, smooth vocals out of this thing. This is what it sounds like. This mic is seriously just beautiful. I kind of like, this is, this looks fantastic on camera this is my kind of microphone just something a little different it's just against the grain i love it all right off axis rejection we're going to take the microphone and we're talking directly into that shiny beautiful mic oh my god <laughs> that's a looker candy bar now we're going to go 90 degrees off axis 180 degrees off axis 90 180 90 Back around to the front of the microphone. We're going to mount it back up. What do you think? Should we change some plates? Should we pull out the old china and throw out the good plastic? This thing is cool, man. This is a this is just great. This is fantastic. I love stuff like this. I know like Microphone Assassin got to it before me. He's good at he's he's really good at that sometimes at, at outdueling the obscure mics guy. But he also does some great high end shit and. 
Th this is like, this is an obscure mic. I, I need a signature series of this microphone. The obscure Uma. I, it, it, let's make it happen, Sammy. Let's make it happen. Let's throw on these plates. See if you can tell a difference. Focus on my voice. I'm going to talk to you for a second. And then we're going to snap our fingers. And I'm going to keep talking. All right. Now we've went from the motif screens, which were these. And now we're using the window screen. So... To me, I feel like there is, uh, the difference is subtle. It's very subtle, but I feel a little bit more in the low end, maybe because it's more open and we're getting less reflection off of this metal to give it a little more top end maybe. But either way, I, I really like the low end sound of this one. Like that sounds really fantastic. And while I was doing that, just a little price check. This is $6.99 currently. Uh, $6.99. Again, you're going to have to make the decision if this is something you want in your arsenal and you think is worth $6.99. For me, an obscure mics guy who really enjoys, I love budget gear. You guys know that, but this is something just kind of altogether different and special. And I actually really, really, really like the sound of this microphone on my voice. These screens all serve a purpose. Some of them are a little more voice tuned. Some of them are a little more instrument tuned. There's a litany of things you can do with these screens. The screens, I believe, let me double check the price. Yeah, the screens are still 49 bucks. So you can, and there's a lot to choose from. There's actually, I should have just looked at that too, because I'm just all over the place right now. Yeah, you got five screen sets, the motif, you know, you order your microphone, with whatever screen set you want to start out with, then you can add the other ones after that. But man, I gotta say, I really enjoy the sound of this microphone. I think uh, six ninety nine to actual studio folks, that's not an expensive microphone. That's kind of what they would call maybe a mid range microphone. It's not like it's super duper expensive. It's just not as cheap as some of the obscure mics that you guys have come to know and love through this channel. That being said. I love this thing. Uh, it's one of those things like if I want to spend 700 bucks on a mic, this is going to be in the conversation amongst that price bracket. This is this is going to be in there. It's time to break out the BB SAR. I've kind of done the testing. I've switched the screens. Again, the price is going to be up to you. Do you think that's expensive? Do you not? To me, it's a very unique thing, and I personally don't have a problem with the price. Doesn't mean if I had 700 bucks on me, I'd buy it right now, but it would be in the conversation with other mics in its price bracket. And on the BB SAR, I'm going to give the Uma. 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 I'm going to give it a seven. I think it's good and definitely worth buying. I actually think it sounds pretty great. Uh, the $700 part knocks it down to like a good for me but again nothing to bark at oh i didn't even i didn't even play in that it's nothing to bark at for 700 bucks i like it a lot i mean i think it sounds absolutely stellar and that spatial just there's something about that capsule that gives you this encapsulating sound tom buck would be proud and makes you feel like you're surrounded by the sound of the microphone. Maybe, maybe I'm just having a great time with it. It sounds really good. I really like it. I really want to thank Sammy at Uma Microphones for sending this over to me, especially considering the circumstances. I was very transparent with him when he asked how I got the microphone, which was all just nothing but positivity. It was just a really good experience. I love having good experiences with these companies because human relations is a massive part of this stuff. Ask anyone who's called a customer service line and gotten freaking nowhere if human relations is a big part of this or not. So the fact that Sammy had already seen my videos and kind of knew who I was, literally, the dude freaking emailed me after he saw that I placed an order for some screens. Absolutely crazy. That's attention to detail, and I appreciate that. So the Oma, Uma, Ema, Oma, Ha, Peyton Man. Oh, I missed so many Peyton Manning references. Oh, I should have held it out and been like, Omaha! Omaha home one! Omaha! Why didn't I do that without it being planned? Damn it. Anyways, this microphone's a rock star. Just saying. Absolute rock star. Love this freaking thing. 
it's a keeper. It's staying in the, in the obscure Mike shack because nobody knows yet. Sammy's working on this. He's working on getting the word out on this, but no one knows yet. I got the freaking mic for 50 bucks on eBay because no one knew what it was. But they will if he keeps going at this rate. Fantastic microphone. Secure mics. I'll uh, put the link to the website so you can buy directly from Uma. It's really cool. If you value really cool microphones with really great sound, this is going to be a contender for you. I absolutely love it. And I think it just fits who I am on camera, maybe. Does that make sense? Do you agree? I think it fits who I am on camera. It just kind of goes with my face. It's like, yeah. You can get more of that on my OnlyFans. Obscure mics. Peace out.